All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil, and I am stoked. We are getting ready to go on an epic trip uh, to Lake Superior via Lake Erie. We're going to Hawk Cliff at Lake Erie to do some hawk watching, and then we're going to cut through Michigan State up to the north north tip of the state to Mackinac Straits, where there's another hawk watch, and do some hawk watching there. So stay tuned for awesome birding, hiking, RVing in uh, Garfield right behind me here and uh, but to get ready I got to get the oil out of this thing we ran it for uh, somewhere between five and ten hours on our last uh, test trip getting ready for Lake Superior and the dealer who sold it to me said uh, the first set of oil the first oil that's in it you got to get rid of it after a brief period of running five to ten hours and get some new oil in there so we're going to do that right now this is a Honda EU 2200i it is a little lunchbox generator, just big enough to run pretty much everything we need on our field right there, uh, even including the AC, uh, just barely, and nothing else. Uh, super fantastic little generator, works in the cold, uh, which we plan on testing out as well, so stay tuned for lots of content, and let's get into the oil change right now. What he said was you might want to put the generator up on a platform so it's easier to get at the oil and to tip it over to dump the oil out. And there's a really simple to operate access panel right here. It just takes a big slotted screwdriver or a Phillips and it just drops off like this. And you can see the oil cap. It's right here. So we'll just remove that cap and yeah, it seems like a little bit of oil maybe made it out. I don't know, there's a good amount in there. It might have just been residue from the last fill. So um, and it's got a nice little spout here too. I'm just going to tuck that, actually not in there, tuck that on the lid. And obviously you want to capture your oil in a container or something so you can dispose of it properly. When uh, time comes. And I'm just going to empty this out. So I just moved her over to the edge here so it'll be easier to pour. And you can see how it pours. And it's got a little spout on it here, so you can just tip it and pour that a little way out. So, pours pretty good. And that's pretty much it. Alright, that took quite a while, but I got her to the way where it was just a little thin trickle. I think that's enough. I'm going to add in the new oil now. So as I mentioned, um, it just takes 5W or 10W30 in the summer, 5W in the winter, and I'm just going to throw this in here, about 250 mil, and just till it's full up, same as how I found it. All right, I think I see why it was slightly overflowed. It's really easy to overfill. How I leaned it back to fill it is probably not recommended. It seems like it's really easy to overfill. I ended up putting about 500 mil in there, and when I put the cap on and remove it, it's got a bit of a dipstick there. And I can see that it is, well, the threads fell right up in the grease. It's definitely full to the top. All right, so we'll get the panel back on. And we'll just uh, we'll get the panel back on, we'll spark her up and try her out after I wipe it off a little bit and have a little bit of a mess. Alright, so we'll just start her up and make sure she uh, runs smooth, and that should be that. So I just double checked the level to make sure it wasn't overfilled, and it looked pretty good. And now we're going to spark it up and hopefully it won't explode. So on. On, engine on, and a nice front pump. Yeah, so it seems okay. I have the Eco Throttle on, which is why it's so quiet. Um, recommended to turn the generator on with the Eco Throttle off. You can also hear how quiet this is, it's not too bad. And uh, of course, if you're not drawing any current, it gets quite quiet. If you have this plugged into your RV or whatever load 
if you're out running, when the load kicks on, you'll hear the engine ramp up with this eco throttle on. It's quite smart. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. We've got the fresh oil in here, and it's ready for our trip to Lake Superior. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our uh, Lake Superior, Lake Erie, birding, RVing fun. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.